There is a strong link between your home and your health. There are seven holistic principles to maintain a healthy home. Today, Mary Sue Kennington, our Family and Consumer Sciences agent, is here to tell us how to keep our homes safe. Welcome, Mary Sue. Thank you, Celeste. It is a real concern about the safety, safety in the home because a lot of accidents happen in the home, don't they? They do. There are uh, numerous ways to get injured in the home, and the top causes of death as far as injuries in the home would be falls, burns, and um, poisoning. And poisoning. And the populations most susceptible would be your very young and your elder members. So it's very beneficial every month to do a walk through inside and outside your house to look for triggers that might cause an accident, such as the playground area for the youngsters, holes in the ground. A lot of people throughout America have holes in their flooring inside their home as well. But there are key areas to look at to prevent falls, for example. Do you have throw rugs in your uh, bedroom or in your living room? If you do, you want to make sure they have a, a nice secure padding underneath to keep them firm or maybe just take them out altogether. So falls and, and of course getting up on things, ladders and step stools. Yes, and don't use chairs. Have a secure ladder or step ladder. Have markings on your steps so that you can see the definition of where each step begins and ends. Have s proper lighting in the house, especially for the older adult. It's hard for our eyesight to adjust from dark to light. So especially in the um, more early morning or nighttime, if you get up, have um, night little night lights glowing so that your eyes can make the transition from the dark to the next room more securely and you can see your way. Also bathtubs are notorious for causing mm -hmm. injuries. This is a very small piece of a, uh, of a rubber um, mat. Uh, mat. mat. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you for that word. That I put in my bathtub. I have three or four of them in there or you can buy a large mat which I don't prefer because it gets more um, moisture in it and mildew build up. The other thing that is so important right now as far as poison prevention is every household should have a carbon monoxide detector in the home even if you do not have a fireplace or a gas furnace mm -hmm. because what happens is we become a little stupid at times during emergencies such as hurricanes people may bring a generator to the home and forget that's a carbon monoxide producing piece of equipment or they could have an attached garage and forget that the car is running. So we recommend that every household has a carbon monoxide alarm. There is no acceptable level, so I'm, I might have said detector, but you really, it is an alarm mm -hmm. and it should be positioned halfway up the wall about um, head height mm -hmm. because carbon, carbon monoxide sinks. The smoke detector should be up higher on the wall because smoke rises. Mm -hmm. And the battery should be changed every three years in a carbon monoxide detector and every five in the um, smoke, smoke alarm. Detector. Now you had that you need to test them every year. You had mentioned um, these combination type products, and you know they're with with smoke and and is, is that a good idea? It's not the best because of the difference in the positioning mm -hmm. of the alarm and sense. also the battery operation has different needs. So where else would carbon monoxide come from besides the car or a, a fireplace? A fireplace produces carbon monoxide gas. Yes, anything that burns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other thing as far as prevention of electrical fires would be checking your dryer. This is from my uh, screen, my filter in my dryer, but more importantly you need to check the exhaust vent and remove the lint that builds up there. That could be on the roof and a lot of people do not go up on the roof to check their vent from their electric And dryer. that can catch fire because, well I know I had a switch break or, a, or like a therm thermostat on my dryer and it got really, really hot and that's probably what could catch that on fire. Right. Really but, easily. Uh, falls are the number one cause of injury in the home and those can be prevented. They can be prevented. Right. By by doing a thorough check of your home to look for things that are loose on the floor, clutter is notorious for causing falls, mm -hmm. holes, loose wires mm -hmm. like uh, electrical cords under the carpet, wet areas in the home that you fail to wipe up when you spill things. Well, Mary Sue, injuries and accidents, it sounds like there are some things we can do to prevent them. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that with us today. You're welcome. 
As Dorothy said in The Wizard of Oz, there is no place like home. Keep your safe by following Mary Sue's recommendations. Mm -hmm.